Hey everybody, my name is Peter Bedard and we're back again with another segment of Create Your Health and I am speaking to Jamie Bechtold. Jamie is a sound therapist and Jamie, tell me what does a sound therapist do? Sound therapist uses different instruments. I use gongs, crystal singing bowls, and tuning forks. And basically how sound works mm -hmm. is our body is a vibrating instrument just like a guitar is. And when our body's out of tune, but not vibrating properly, we might feel a little more tired, our energy might be down, we'll have chronic pain, chronic tension, or maybe sickness, illness. Using sounds that harmonize the body, that heal the body, we get the body to vibrate at a frequency that it's kind of its highest frequency, its highest spot, so then that way your body can heal itself. So once your body is tuned, it can function properly. Everyone actually has their kind of own sound, own sort of signature. Own frequency. It is really amazing to feel sound, and that's what one of the reasons I love using the gong so much. When I give a class or a, a sound bath or a sound concert with the gongs, mm -hmm. I'll have people come stand behind them, and you can feel it just vibrating your whole body, and okay. it shuts off your mind. It's hard to actually think when you're listening, when you're behind the gong. Our bodies are about 80, 80 to 85% water, mm -hmm. and sound travels four times faster in water than it does in air. Um. So you can imagine all the, the blood and the fluid, all the fluids in our body, just really the way the sound traveling through that. Babies hmm. working on pregnant women is, is, is really fun because babies love it. <laughs> what do they do? They'll start moving around and I've worked with some Sort of people. like dancing in the womb? Yes, <laughs> a baby's upset, they scream, they cry. The next minute, they're laughing. Babies, if you sit with a baby for a mm -hmm. long time, you'll see them use their voice to balance out their moods naturally. I never thought of that. And sound is really one of the most ancient healing forms, mm -hmm. I think of of drum circles, uh, mm -hmm. drumming and dancing. Sound is is a meditation. I use it as my meditation. Mm -hmm. Your voice can be very healing as well. So is that why mantras and chants or something of that sort actually mm -hmm. work? Yes. What do people come to see you for? Stress, anxiety, and sleep. People are really in their heads and have a hard time shutting off their mind. Sound can do wonders of getting you out of that headspace of the wheels turning and turning and right, turning. Right, right. Also, people who maybe want to balance out their moods, their emotional state of mind, their energy levels, someone's really tired all the time, sound can help uplift you. And that's the beauty of sound, is that you don't have to consciously remember every single issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it just can come out. Mm -hmm. I have to work with Piesty Planetary Gongs. So this is actually the frequency of Earth. Piesty Planetary, what's that? Uh, is it Pisty, a brand? Or? Yeah, Piesty okay. is a brand. Okay. They are mathematically determined, so the frequency is scientific. This is the one I'll usually have people stand behind because it's so, it's just so powerful and it's so big. <laughs> it's just a wonderful one. Obviously, I'll put it on the stand. You can't stand behind it right now. Right. <laughs> and I enjoy working with the planets because it's, I can use it for specific things. For example, Earth opens the heart. It's really good for the heart mm -hmm. and for love and grief and well, all Bring that, that one on. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves the Yo. heart one. Whereas Jupiter, uh -huh. Jupiter is for <laughs> manifestation. Oh, bring that one on too. Yeah, that's <laughs> creation, good too. <laughs> expansion, uh -huh. prosperity. I mean, right. Jupiter is a fabulous one too. Wow. And I also and have Mercury. And Mercury is for the throat, uh -huh. for communication. Can I do that one? Sure. Yeah. Right. Oh, wow. Neptune is for, it's very dreamy, watery. It has it's that. It's kind of for increasing your intuition, your dreams. Ah. And I use the planetary tuning forks as well, mm -hmm. along with other ones, but I have an actual Jupiter tuning fork, right. a Mercury tuning fork. Ah. In private sessions, I usually work on the table with kind of playing a symphony. Well, and this room is just fantastic. Yes, it's yeah. like a symphony going on around you with uh -huh. the tuning forks and, and everything. So the crystal bowls are working the same way. They'll balance out just like a gong will. It's just a different way to use sound. Uh -huh. And it's made out of quartz. And I'll actually sometimes put these bowls underneath the table. So when you're lying on it, you right. can... It's not going to vibrate the table, but you'll uh -huh. get the sensation well, you of feel the it. sound coming up through the table. Put your hand really close to it and you'll feel the vibration. That is cool. So tuning forks, 
Mm -hmm. Look like this. <laughs> these ones are weighted, so these ones are used on the body. And then actually hold them up. And this is how you put vibration in the body. Yeah. And you can actually use these on acupuncture points. It's a form of needleless acupuncture. Oh, well, I feel it right in, you're right in my sternum. There's also ones that I don't use on the body that I use around the body. And this works more on the energetic field. And the, this is a C and a G. So listening to this tone, your, your body creates a third note when listening to them that aligns the central nervous system. And I can hear them hum. Mm -hmm. We haven't talked about what a sound bath is. Yes, you're not immersed in water or anything. You're actually just lying there, <laughs> lying on the floor or sitting in a chair. <laughs> right. While I play the gongs and the bowls and you're just really immersed in the sound, all the healing frequencies, right. and it feels amazing. Yes, it Very works on too, all yeah. levels, mm -hmm. physical, emotional, spiritual. Right. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing what you <laughs> do with us, mm -hmm. and uh, thank you for watching another segment of Create Your Health, and we'll see you next time.